Hello everyone and welcome to the official 2023 F1 in Schools World Finals Singapore Pit Lane Walk. I'm Amy Martin, but today I am your official Martin Brundle and I will be taking you through the teams that have made amazing pit displays at the World Finals. <laughs> this is very heavy. Let's take a look. And we are here at Team 05 Cosmic Racing from Cyprus. How's it been going today? Uh, yes, it's been going so far uh, very nice. Well, our car could have been a little faster, to be honest, but I think we'll do okay. But we are not here to talk about the car, we're here to talk about the pit display. So let me see, is there something you want to tell me about your pit display? Yes, um, the greatest thing about our pit display, I would say, are the helmets, which um, underneath they have an NFC tag, so you can look at this monitor right now. It's displaying Mihalis Evangelidis, our graphics designer over there. And if we take this helmet, and uh, your, uh, if we take this helmet, switch it, it should switch on to a different member of the team. Each helmet is, corresponds to one, member, uh, one other team member, so is our leader, and now our design engineer. So this is the interactive part of our booth, I would say the most interesting part. Absolutely amazing, so you can get to know all of the team members. And we've got another screen over here, what's that showing? So that's the promotional campaign we did with our school. It's a YouTube video we played and it accumulated over 210,000 views on all social media platforms. So that was quite amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it on the second monitor. It looks absolutely amazing. I love the branding on this team. So I'm going to say goodbye. Hope you have a good competition. And I'm going to say hello to Dynamis Racing from France. How are you feeling today? Really good. And is there anything you want to tell me about your pit display? It looks amazing, the colours. Thank you, yeah. It's inspired by Mercedes, but you can see that the combination of black and blue. Yeah, the render is very good. So you've got the car kind of displayed right here in the middle. And what, I think I know what this middle part is, but what is this in the middle of your pit display? Well, obviously, it's a reference of France. It's the Circuit Paul Ricard circuit, the trophy. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was uh, of course um, a symbol for us for representing France. I think it's one of the best trophies on the grid, and I think you'll yeah. all agree with me there. <laughs> what else is this? What, what else is on your pit display you want to tell me about? Well, this little machine you can see here is a bearing testing rig. So this is uh, the rig that we use uh, to test different bearings and uh, to make uh, the choices of what. Uh, we're going to use for our car. Well, I hope it goes as fast as you want it to, and I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go to the next team. Good luck. See you see you on track soon. We are coming all the way over here to Cardium from Germany. T07, Firestorm, I'm going to tell you to get going. Hello, how are you? I'm good. That, that's it. You're having a good day? Yeah, I mean, we just finished the, the engineering judging. So actually we finished like all of our judging, so uh, it's kind of it's quite good. Well, so, loud pit interview. I am here to talk to you about your pit display. It looks absolutely amazing. Who wants to talk me through it? Start, I guess. Oh, I get okay. Of course, the microphone in the hand. So uh, then we start at the left. So we went start with our team and where we came from. So we came from Germany, a very long trip to Singapore. Uh, Therefore, our pit display also had to be designed, of course, special form for this long trip. We used a construction that is very easy to pack in. We just used this bag, uh, brought it to the uh, airport, and just can hand it in. So all this weights about 20 kilograms with all the posters together uh, calculated. So it's one-handed, you can uh, carry it around, very, very easy. Then we have posters, they do not, uh, it's no glue, it's only sticking with uh, normal friction, so you can easily erase them, and there's no garbage in the end, so it's very easy to erase them. These plates are made of uh, paper instead of wood or uh, plastic, so they are quite sustainable. And yeah, so I guess more important is what is on the pit display than what is to see around. So we have two monitors, one with our uh, car, and it's shown in our uh, program where we designed our car, so you can also see how this all came together. Here you can see our portfolio is digital and printed. And of course, you can see our progress of all cars, so over the competitions, our prototypes, and uh, many ideas we had over the time. And we have, of course, some simple merchandise, so people can remind, uh, remember us also in 20 years. 
Well, amazing. I know I've said something in that book, so I want to see it at the end to see how many people you get. Yeah. Progression of the car is amazing. Thank you so much for showing me around, guys. Hope you have a good competition and happy birthday again. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. We are Team Meolos from Greece. And I am here to talk about your pit display. This is one that I saw when I was walking around on the first day and I said it looks absolutely amazing. So who wants to talk to me about the pit display? Um, actually, it's a funny story because <laughs> we lost it at the first place. <laughs> we transported it with the airplane uh, we flew with and uh, the airline or something lost it. <laughs> and we went through a little bit of drama, but it's here now and it's beautiful as you can see. Um, we've, we have our sponsors here. And uh, I would like to mention that our team's name, Eolos, draws inspiration from the ancient god of wind, Eolos. So um, the whole pit display is based on the concept of wind. You can see uh, the wind turbine, the wind tunnel, all the graphics that uh, provide motion, uh, the feeling of motion. And then we have this gradient look of uh, blue and green, which is our team identity. And that uh, draws inspiration from Greece, blue from Greece, and green from sustainability. Uh, as you can see, our pit display is powered by the E Energy, uh, which is the largest uh, electricity provider in Greece, and they are striving to uh, to uh, construct more and more wind turbines to have a more sustainable future. So that's why our whole concept is based on this. Absolutely amazing. Well, I can smell Team Identity coming your way because it looks incredible. So now we're going to go on to Team Blaze from India. Now, these girls and boys are very, very excited. Um, how have you, had a, good, have you good, had a good day today? Oh, it was really great. We had so many judging, but they all went great. Well, I want to know about this pit display because it looks incredible. So who wants to talk me through the pit display? So first we have this. It's how we would assemble our pit display. So it's like a mini pit display that we made to not damage the material because it's made out of foam. So we had we practiced on that. Then we have our car renders and we have our reaction game which we actually made ourselves. Would you like to try? Oh. I'm not very good at this. Why don't you show me? You show me. Oh, okay. So when me and Tom have time, we will come and we will have a competition. What is this as well? This looks incredible. That's our holographic fan. So it shows a video of like our team car and we also kept health and safety in mind while making this. It's a glass frame around it. So no one puts their finger through it. Do you want a picture in our Snapchat filter? Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't work, not the best, but well done, guys. It looks absolutely incredible. I hope you have a good day on track today. We have Adventum. We have number one on the leaderboard, and we have Steve it's from Denford having a conversation. Hi, guys. How's it going? Very good. Very, you, very good for top of the leaderboard. You should be a little bit more excited. Uh, we were very excited yesterday, but no, uh, I know. Look, we'll, uh, we've, we've another race at five o'clock, so hopefully we get just excited then. Fingers crossed you can go even quicker. So pit display looks absolutely incredible. Not as not as many things coming out of it as, as any other teams. Does so, someone want to talk me through it? This man, this man right here. Going to you. Uh, so we kind of went for a more like, um, like interactive kind of design. Like we didn't want to carry a lot, a lot of like uh, freight over from Ireland because it would have cost us a fortune. So instead we decided just five posters in, in roll-up boxes um, that we'll send back to the national schools at home for the green schools. Uh, but then we just decided uh, it, what, what do teams want to see from us, uh, the care, some portfolios probably at the moment, and then we decided to just keep, them, keep the posters um, just about us, more things that we, we want to talk about than, than uh, like buttons or anything, like, you know, so, yeah. Well, I can imagine you've been one busy pit display being number one on the leaderboard, and this is, I imagine, one of the most most important parts about it, the cars progression. So whose idea was it to have all of these cars on the on the pit display? This man here. Yeah, it was a bit of a collaboration between me and Dara, I suppose. We were trying to come up with ideas for the pit display. So we said it would be just for anyone looking at the pit display, really, just to see the development of our progress throughout the competition. So just starting from where we started in 2020, just to say how we got to here. And then, obviously, you can see the car from the National Disaster is pretty similar to this year. So yeah, I just think it's nice to see how a team got to where they are. Just interesting for any team, really, in general, to be honest. Definitely. Well, if any teams are wanting to know how to get fastest car this year, come and look at this car, because it's the same, according to this team. 
Thank right, thanks guys, I'll see you later. So Team Phoenix, how are you? Uh, feeling fine. Just fine, you guys have had a great competition. Are the first Japanese team? Uh, we aren't the first, but this year we're the only Japanese team. The only Japanese team, and do you feel very proud to be here representing Japan? Yeah, really proud. So that's why we've tried to express as much Japan as we can in the pit. And I mean, it looks incredible. Do you want to talk me through what's on what's on the pit? What do you want me to remember about your pit display? Well, so first of all, um, since it is Omatsuri, which is festival season, we these are lanterns that we use in Japan in, during festivals. And also we have origami, as well as anime drawings. And also these girls, they're very good at drawing. So if you ever want like a drawing of yourself, as you can see over there, we can get it to you. If you want a drawing, we can get you one. They look amazing. And I think me and Tom will need to have one of them. So is this all your, this is your progression of your car? So a very, do you think that's very important to show other teams? Um, yeah, I think it's important to see the progression of the cars because it shows how we've developed our car throughout the not not years but through the months and weeks and hard work and I believe that by sharing it um, some pe um, people will understand why we came to this design of the car yeah well I think you have got an amazing team identity we know you've got so much energy when you come out on track so it's lovely to see all the hard work you put into it good luck and I hope it goes well at the awards Thank you. Uh, and we are gonna go over to this side of the pit displays and we have got gold crest racers from Luxembourg how are you I'm great and what do you want to tell me about your pit display? Um, well, I don't know if this is our pit display. Who wants to tell me about their pit display? Uh, I'll tell you about it, sure. No problem. So um, here you can see a holographic fan. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera or not. It, um, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, we learned how to 3D animate from scratch um, in order to show that animation and to do this little 2D animation showing here. Um, in addition, we have this uh, shelf displaying and past iterations of our car um, and some, a small snippet of our design process, some information about our sustainability and our brand identity over there. Uh, is, is brand identity a very important thing for you? Because I can see you've got certain colors on there and do, do you have, does everything have to be exactly the same? Yeah, we have a brand um, guide to make sure that everything is always the same hex code and the same shape language and to make sure that everything is um, properly done so that everything is uh, the same. It's, it's a very important part of us and it helps bring us all together. And that is what F1 teams are all about, having exactly the same, making sure that everyone's unified as a team. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display and I hope you have a great competition. We are heading over to Malaysia and to Nova. How are we today? Uh, we're doing absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, that's one of the best responses I've had today. Yeah. Um, pit display looks absolutely incredible. Was this hard to build? Uh, it was ch challenging to put the stickers, but actually all of these are reusable. We used it for national and then we just put the stickers in, yeah. Okay, were there any arguments on the team when the pit build was happening? Uh, there's, there is very little argument because we've already planned we already planned it out for before national, so yeah, there's a, there's some aspect that's going to have arguments, but not a lot. Amazing! So very well prepared. I want to see what's going on on these screens and this and this bin. Who wants to tell me about this? So if you can see here, this is our initiative. It's called One Team One Cloth. So what we do is that we ask all the other teams from all different kind of countries to donate plastic bottles and also fabrics, because believe me or not, our T-shirts here. Our lanyards are entirely made of plastic bottles generated from this um, initiative itself. And as an added bonus, we've made a deal with the company, Clothcast. For every one kilogram of bottle we collect it, we can get 10 cents out of it. So it's a one way of passive income. <laughs> so we are literally putting the clothes on your back with our bottles. Okay, everyone, go and put your plastic bottles in Nova Stand because they need new t-shirts. <laughs> so we have Phoenix 3G. Hello. We n How are we all? Are you good? We are so happy and so excited for be here in Singapore. Because you are normally at the end of the track, aren't you? Yes, I am the uh, el que recibe. The receiver. The receiver. The receiver. Okay. They, this stand looks amazing. So do you want to tell me something about your stand? Of course. Uh, this is our car. It's, it's called PF7. And this is all of the story for Phoenix Team 3G. The story, it's so important to see how you got here. 
we we are original for uh, indigenous uh, community that calls Mayan culture. Do you know? Yeah. It's a very nice culture, but we have. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice eh, comunidades que hacen recuerdos originarios? Yeah. We have low resources community. Yes, we are of low resources community. So it's a great achievement be here in Singapore in the World Finals for the challenge that represents this context. Yes, you have done an absolutely incredible job. And definitely on the racing has been really strong. Yes. So I want to say good luck for the rest of the competition and I'll see you on track. Yes. See ya. Hello. Here we are with Honeycomb Racing from Scotland. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. I'm having a lovely time. I don't get, normally get to see these pit displays, so I'm very excited to hear about yours because it looks amazing. So, yeah, let's step aside. Who wants, do you want to tell me about your pit display? I'd like to pass you over to Lily because she designed it meticulously. I'm going over to Lily. First, I would like to show one of the coolest features of the pit display once my phone loads, which is that these lights should never mind they're not going to do it right now the lights usually change colors we are live but only one of them has changed color um the lights symbolize our logo which is one of the loveliest parts of our pit display when the lights work um another feature of our pit display is our wind turbine sam if would you like to plug your phone in <laughs> uh you can plug your phone in and when you tr when you spin the wind turbine it charges your phone which is an element that's the way we really like. We also have some Tonix tea cakes for our Tonix sponsor, but they've all been stolen throughout the day. I do love the Tonix tea cakes. Oh, thank you very much. Do you have someone there all day just charging the phones? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, so actually, the wind turbine also links to our headline sponsor, Muirhall Energy. So they help to um, supply Scotland with sustainable energy, and they're helping Scotland get in line with its sustainability goals for 2023. Um, but yeah, we have Sam working away while everybody's not there charging our phones. <laughs> well, poor Sam. Sustainability at the heart of this team. Absolutely incredible job. And you guys are absolutely at the top of those leaderboards. So well done and hope you have a great competition and I will see you on Wednesday. Next, we have Accelerate Racing from Singapore. How are you? Uh, well, we're feeling very well, I think. Um, we just started this project only four months ago. And I think we should be very proud of what we've achieved today. I mean, just look at our pit display. You couldn't have said it better than yourself. Look at this pit display. Absolutely incredible. Who wants to talk to me? Who designed it? Uh, he designed it. We are going over here to the girls. Hi. This is the first time I finished the, like, from the designing and manufacturing the entire process for the pit display manufacturing. So I'm so excited to finish this project within this short time. Yeah, so I'm in charge of the graphic design part of this pit display, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, yeah, getting done with this pit display within such a short months. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I have questions. So was it difficult to put it up, to build it? Well, we take the benefits because we're the team from Singapore, so it's kind of a um, benefit for us to make it as a wood structure. And we have the our sponsors, we call uh, events to help us transport all the materials to here. Yeah. yeah. You had a you had a benefit there. Yeah, and also our one of our sponsors, Times Printer, also helped us to print all of the board. So it was a very helpful. Yeah. I think you've done an absolutely incredible job. Job the team from Singapore with one of the best stands here, in my opinion. I can't do points, everyone. But thank you so much for showing me around and good luck. And I will see you later on track. We are here with Uta. How are you, girls? Good, good. Thank you. Having a good day? Yep. So. We know you as the girls in yellow. The yellow jumpsuits. Tom doesn't know what they're called. They're called jumpsuits. Um, brand, such a big thing for you, I can imagine. Who wants to tell me about it? You go. Okay, so we're an all-girls team, and we took yellow because it represents energy, and it's very bright, so everyone can see us, of course. And yeah. So yeah, we just wanted to showcase what we are made of, that we are made of fire and energy and light. That showcases in us. Um, logo also. Yeah. You are energetic. I'm going to come over here. Yeah. What are these and what is this? So these are our scrutineering tools. Um, it is an innovation by Team Udra and these are our double ball bearings. This is a marketing innovation actually in which we integrated robotics as well. So to um, 
uh, try to uh, entertain and um, integrate a passion for Formula One in schools and cars in the younger students in our school. We showed them this lion robot, so it basically follows the lion. And it was a marketing endeavor which we made um, fun for students. So they'll basically be more passionate about cars and they'll be more intrigued by cars through our robotics marketing endeavor. Well, I hope they have just a tiny bit of passion that you guys have because you have an absolutely incredible. And I think it looks like you've stolen some of Willie's scrutineering tools there. So he's going to have to come and have a look. So we have got the team from Thailand. How are you? Well, really good. I'm really excited. And uh, were you involved in the making of the pit display? Yep, I am. So do you want to tell me about... Oh, Tom's Noodles. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We collaborated with Mama, one of the biggest um, instant noodle companies in Thailand, to create them for Tom and also personalize one for our teams. Oh, so you all, you've all got your own. And do you, do you only eat your own? They're only yours? Yeah. Yep. No sharing allowed. Um, so what else have you got on this pit display? The car is the main focus. What, why do you think it's important to show your car? Oh, well, Gan will explain more about that. Well, uh, I think we spend a lot of time and effort uh, making this car, so I think it's quite important to show to other people that our accomplishment and, and you know, our car to just show to other people. Yeah. So are these all your sponsors that are on this iPad here? Yep, yep. Oh, and yep. they're on there? Yep, so those are all our sponsors, Vietjet, Mama, you know, and all these other sponsors, we're very really, really grateful for them. Um, you know, big shout out to all of them. Absolutely amazing. I love how you've got the original block where you would manufacture the car on, so you've shown that you've gone through all of the steps of the process. Um, happy with how racing has gone? Um, well, it, you know, for the first time, I think it went quite well. You know, it's better than I expected. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think everyone is happy. Everyone is enjoying this race. Well, I think if, it, if your pit displays anything to go by, you're going to do great in the competition. So best of luck, and I will see you soon. Thank you for showing me around. And I am here. Oh, I can never pronounce this team name. What was your team name again? Nautilus. Nautilus. This is why I give Tom the job of saying Nautilus, because I cannot remember how to do it. Um, right, first question. What is this and, and the background of your of your pit display? So the name Nautilus is actually the name of a submarine in the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So that's the submarine behind. And the two cars on the side are our prototypes that's named after characters in the book. And our main car is called Aronox, which is the character in the book itself. Okay, amazing. Now I know and I cannot that I can sleep at night knowing what it is. And um, also, spinning car, whose idea was this? So when we were planning on like having a centerpiece, so we were like, you know, the centerpiece of the pit display must be something which we have worked the most hard for. And so we were like, you know what, the car goes. And we wanted to show the car to the whole world because, you know, that's what this competition is about. It's about, you know, coming together, getting, raising the amount of money to, at the end of the day, build the car. And we should show the car the whole world. So let's try and get the cameraman in there to have a, to have a look. There it is, the centerpiece, the thing that you've been working the hardest for, and it looks absolutely amazing. So thank you for showing me around your pit display, and I hope you have a great rest of the competition. You. See you later. And we are over to Eclipse, who are just fixing their pit display, it looks like. Uh, yeah, we had an issue. Uh, we tried to show you uh, that we were everything was working from the uh, power banks, uh, but I unplugged something, I had to plug it back in, and the turntable stopped. But uh, I hope you like it. Uh, we've got a range of things going on. We've got all our sponsors, uh, we've got all our cars over the years. Uh, we've got a sustainability initiative, our solar panel, if EV moves out of the way slightly, and all our portfolios up there. Um, so yeah, there's a uh, lot of stuff on there, um, but we're uh, really proud of it, so yeah. An absolute whistle-stop tour by this yeah, pit display. Sorry, um, so the evolution of the cars, so you have done the competition before, yeah? Yeah, so we've taken part throughout from 2020 all the way through to the, uh, this competition. It's our last competition though, so very sad, but enjoying it as much as we can. So awards is going to be a really big, big moment for you as a team. Yeah, we'd love to come away with something, anything. We've put in so much hard work, blood, sweat and tears into this competition and just enjoying the day whilst we can and hopefully coming away with something. I heard Eclipse want to be world champions and lifting that trophy. Is that right, Tom? <laughs> fingers crossed from Tom. Thank you for showing me your pit display. Absolutely incredible. And fingers crossed for you all. Prime Racing from the US of A. How are you? I'm good, good. Having a good time? Good competition? Absolutely, yeah. So, pit display. Looks absolutely incredible. So packed with information. What's the number one thing about your pit display? What do you like the most? Um, I think our number one thing is definitely our push buttons. They're very interactive and I just I love that part of our pit display. Because it's important to know who everyone is, so yeah. so I can figure out oh, yeah, Noah. That's Noah. 
Yes. Exactly, see. <laughs> Fun breakfast. <laughs> um, and also car, main focus of the pit display. And we've got another spinning table. Um, whose idea was it to have the car front and centre? Honestly, all of ours and all of the engineers, honestly, it's their like, masterpiece. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to come over here. So we've got the social medias here. It might be nice to have them on camera. Um, what's your favourite social media? Uh, Facebook. Oh, Facebook, okay. That's interesting. Feel free. Hello, our mascot. Um, he wants to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hi to everyone back at home who hopefully are, are watching and supporting. So thank you so much for showing me around the pit display. And I will see you on track later. We have Firestorm from Wales. How are you doing? Doing really well, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. We talk to you all the time because you're, you. you're not at the other end of the, of the pit. No, I'm always there. Who's at the end of the track? I want to talk. Max, we are talking to you today. Oh, the pit display. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, um, our pit display is obviously, as you can tell, very red um, to represent, you know, the Welsh Dragon in Wales. We wanted to keep it quite minimal, quite minimalist to, um, to show about our sustainability with the, um, like everything's very electronic. There's not much paper involved. Um, but it, it has, we have um, a bit of a hard development on it to like, you know, pad it out a little bit. And we have a bit of a team, but we didn't, we wanted to keep it like more based on our journey from Wales to Singapore. Um, quite minimal, as I said, very uh, very chill, very modern, if you will. I can imagine it was a long journey. And I think you've got, is it sponsors on this iPad here? Who's sponsorship? Uh, part of our website. So we've got Celsa and Edwards Coaches as our platinum sponsors. And we've got the rest of them, St. John's, Red Dragon Group, Flintech as our gold. Absolutely amazing. Well, I hope the journey from Wales to Singapore was worth it and hopefully you walk away with some trophy on Wednesday. So well done, guys, and I will see you on track soon. We are going to come over to Constellation and James is on his phone. <laughs> Do we want to? Yeah, carry on. Yeah, cool. OK. Hi. Hello. We don't normally talk to you. Are you normally driver? No, I'm at the other end. At the other end. How's it been at the other end? It's pretty good. There's air conditioning there, so. That is key. Any breakages on track? Sorry? Any breakages? Not that I've seen. That's good. So, Constellation, tell me about your pit display, please. So, we've taken the inspiration from an F1 pit wall. That's why we've got a lot of screens. We've got a data analysis in the middle. We update this screen with lifetimes from the track. We create an app to do so. And then we've got videos about Enterprise and project management. It does look like a pit display on track. And are these all, are these the best memories of Constellation? What, what is this over here? Uh, this is our favorite memories. Yeah, our favorite memories. Oh, I said there's no Taylor Swift photo on here. Mm, that's disappointing. And you are a big Taylor Swift fan. You was on the Monopoly. Oh, 100%. We tried to get tickets earlier this year in a team meeting and it did not go well. So it is what it is. I feel you're paying Taylor Swift if you're watching two, two tickets to a show. Yes, please. Show, please. Um, hopefully all goes well and hopefully you find your other teammates. Yes. And um, we want to see a little bit more about this. Okay. I can update this live if you give me one moment. Oh, I need to find the app on my phone for it. Okay. Well, I want to say, first of all, Tom Milner and Tom Deacon. Tom Milner brackets the better Tom. Oh, yeah, Who Tom, did that? Tom Milner wins. Oh, sorry, Tom Deacon, but uh, we like Tom Milner better. That was us. That was me. I'm going to be telling them. What, what is this? So this is our bracket for knockout, so we can update it with all the teams that, or that we're competing against. And then we also got automatic and reaction racing, yet yeah, all reaction racing, but we can update it with our live times. It looks absolutely incredible, and I like how Tom Milner has just won the knockout competition. Yes, he has. Oh, gentlemen. Tom Milner absolutely has, and I'm, I apologise, Tom Deacon, but Tom Milner is the better Tom. Okay, I'm glad we got that in there right at the end. I'm going to go over to Mac One Racing. Thank you very much for your, for your tour of your pit display. How are we today? It's, it's fine. It's, it's, <laughs> it's fine. I'm nervous. <laughs> I think it, you've had a great competition so far. What has been your highlight of the competition? I think being here, it's already a highlight. So we are very happy to, to be here. And building the pit display, was that difficult? Yeah. We, we plan it to build, but it's it's what's so difficult. Any arguments on the team? No, no, we, we are fine. We are you're family. All, you are, we, we are family. That's so nice to hear that you're all family. Do you want to tell me about the pit display? What What is this? It's it's our pit display, but it's smaller than than the one here. So we, we made a small, small part. 
So you can you can have one each. You can take them home. What? You can take one. Yeah. So you can pick them up. You, we can have our pizza play in our table. <laughs> exactly. And then you've got the car rotating here. The the yellow helmet. Is that a tribute? It's from Ayrton Senna. Of course, it's Ayrton Senna. And the and the hologram here. Whose idea was that? What? The, the hologram. Okay, it's a hologram showing our car in exploded view. It's and I think it looks amazing. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> and we've got a little helmet there and some and some merchandise, some tops. Yeah. And you wear them in your spare time. It's our smack. It's, it's our our brand. Well, it looks absolutely amazing. Thank you for keeping me entertained while I walk around the pit displays. And nice to hope hopefully everything goes well. And nice to see you. Okay. <laughs> And we are going to go over to the next pit display, which is very close to my face. Um, we are going to go to Intercosmic, one of the fastest teams on track. Just overall, how does that make you feel? I feel very proud of our team, but that is unexpected. Uh, we might as well as the, our car designer, Alex, uh, I think he has more pitting on our cars. Well, I think you have done an excellent job, Alex, on the car. But we are here to talk about the pit display. So who wants to talk to me about this? All right. Hey. Oh, so, okay, yeah. So here's a pit display. We used 100% um, recycled paper to make this display. So it was all recycled, and it, was, and it can be recycled, recycled after use. So um, it matches with one of our visions and goals of sustainability, and which is why... And, and, and moreover, because the pit display can be shrunk to 10 cm and expanded to 2 meters, it was perfect for the regulation change on the DHL um, logistics new regulations, yeah. Well, who carried that in their luggage? I think it was, I think it was Jerry who carried it in, in his luggage. Um, but because it could be shrunk to like 10 cm and we only have three pieces, then it didn't take up that much space. Because once if Jerry had opened it on the plane? No, no, no. He did not carry it on the plane. He carried it as a uh, luggage. S yeah. Silly me. Yeah. And what's going on with these? Um, this little, the bubble, the bubble with the the gas. Uh, our our team identity is space and cos which co which comes from cosmic. So thus, we decided that the galaxy icon would be very fitting for this um for this for, for this display because it represents our team and it represents our identity. Yeah. Well, they look absolutely incredible, and I'm going to remember into cosmic with the with the glass cosmos inside. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for having me and showing me around your pit Thank display. You. Good luck for the awards. And we are going to come over to Impulse from Cyprus. How are you? Hello, we're good. And your pit display looks incredible. We've got, we're going to have to move the flags that we can actually we can see. Who wants to tell me about it? I can tell you about it. <laughs> so first of all, I think the most interesting part of our booth may be the steering wheel. We 3D printed it and there's a screen inside. So for example, if I want to test my reaction time, I can click on the screen. So yeah, this wasn't that good, but the one over at the track is a bit better. So here we have our sponsors. Without them, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to come here. Obviously, the car and our social media accounts, the car statistics, which describe our car in, our car in detail, and the team members over there. Well, social media is it a big part of your team? Do you do a lot of social media? Yeah, yeah we promote our accounts a lot on social media to engage more students into the F1 and schools community and hope more students come here. Amazing, so hoping for the social media award, I'm guessing? Yeah, we hope so we can get some nominations and awards, it would be nice. Amazing, well, fingers crossed, and thank you for showing me around your pit display, and I'll see you on track later. And we are heading over to Lunatic GP from France, how are you? Good, and you? I'm very good, thank you. I'm loving going to go around the pit displays, because I never really see them. So, can you tell me about your pit display and what makes it special? Yeah, so what makes it special, it's uh, a low-cost pit display. Because <laughs> we haven't the time for do a very great uh, pit display like the other team. And we haven't the budget too. So this pit display costs only 100 euros and it's fully uh, raisable. Because uh, all of the things that you can see are going to be reused by us uh, in whole house uh, and for and the um, presentation is going to be used by the, the association where we are for promote F1 in school in whole school. Yeah, it's really important in France to promote F1 in schools, isn't it? I know Frédéric likes to, likes to show off all the French teams and I think you're doing an amazing job. But I have to ask, what are these here? This is uh, the engineering drawing 
we put this for show uh, our work to the other people uh, from uh, for uh, who are there, and uh, we put uh, also some uh, render of our car and uh, videos who show uh, the car and who uh, we made it uh, and who made the wheel, etc., etc. And uh, we also put some uh, whole portfolios for team who want to see uh, how we do uh, and who who we do. Uh, who to manage to be here. Amazing, but this is giving away secrets. I feel like the engineering drones are giving away secrets to other teams. So be careful, keep them, keep them sealed. Thank you for showing me around your pit display and you're doing great on track so far. We're gonna go over to acceleration from Germany. How are you? Well, can't complain so far. <laughs> I mean, we don't normally talk to you two. Oh, you guys switch, don't you? And you all, you all press the button. So we've spoken to you before, yeah. Philip, we know you. Uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> um, Pit display looks absolutely incredible. Very minimal. Whose idea was that? Yeah, so um, we try to have like just some eye catchers to um, yeah get like uh, the first informations of our team. And if you want to dig a bit further, you can have more information on our iPads. So you put the car front and center, and it looks absolutely incredible. Um, why do you think it was important to have the car as right in the middle of the pit display and then spinning on a plate? <laughs> I mean, the car is the like mo most important element in this competition, so we wanted to uh, put it in the center to just uh, highlight that. And have you been going around other people's pit displays and having a look? Yeah, of course. Also, amazing work here by the other teams. We love each uh, yeah, each uh, each pit each pit display here. Yeah, it's it's just incredible to be here. Well, I'm gonna talk to Kevin because I haven't spoken to him yet. What's going on here? The, le the lever note? Oh yeah, sure. So we got this little friend book here and also a little tablet where you can like write something down. Should we write something down? Yeah, lovely. It's so cute. Yeah, thank you so much. This is like building up some connection with other teams. Yeah, it's great. Well, thank you guys for showing me around your pit display. Amazing job and hopefully the award ceremony goes well tomorrow. <laughs> and we are here with Athena from Greece. How are you today? We're very happy and really excited. Having a good day. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good day. Our time racing was really good, so we're satisfied. Yes, it was very good, but we're not here to talk about racing. We're here to talk about the amazing pit display behind us. Who wants to have a, who wants to tour me through the pit display? I'm going to go over here then. So, um, here we have a pit display. It's all made from uh, boarding paper. It's sustainable fully. Um, it's uh, it's 11 pieces and you weigh only 70 kilos. You can um, take it off and then get it back home with it. Um, here we have the Amitha team and your opinion. You can write whatever you want. You can leave us a wish later. We have uh, our roles there. Our team logo, our sponsors to so thank them. That's in return on investments. Um, the engineering and the marketing, the most important highlight we have. And then here, the portfolios, our innovation. Do you want me to talk about that? Oh, of course I want you to talk about it. I was about to ask, what is this? So this is a filament maker. It takes discarded plastic bottles and turns them into filament maker tailored for 3D printings. So we can make whatever we want, keychains, like whatever, with only plastic bottles. It cuts here. We cut here the bottle, turn that out, put it inside, hit this in 15 minutes. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, so it's sustainable. Here we have our team mascot because it, is, it represents our team's name, Athena. She was a goddess and she had this as her pet. Um, and here we have some other keychains. They are uh, from the burnt uh, wood from our wildfire in Greece last year. And it has our logo printed on too. And our uh, QR code from the link tree. We have all the social media inside. You can find us whatever you want just uh, by the QR code. You can scan it with your phones. And that's all, I think. Did you know that Nova from Malaysia are also collecting plastic bottles? Really? Yeah, there's a competition for plastic bottles in the F1 in Schools World Finals. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display, Athena. I hope it goes great and you have a great award ceremony on Wednesday. Yay. Right, I will head over to the next team. It is super busy in our F1 in Schools pit lane here. So we are now with Asani, a Thai team. Hey, how you doing today? 
that is great. I'm going to talk to one of the more vocal members of the team. I'm going to come over here and take a seat with one of the twins, hopefully. Do you want to tell me about your pit lane, your pit display? Our pit display, we want it for our objective is to be sustainable. Not only that, we want it to be foldable and lesser surface area than others. Not only that, we want it to have our color scheme. Yeah. It looks absolutely incredible. And you um, don't normally get to talk to you because you're normally in the mascot. They released you for the pit display, the pit display tour. Yep. Um, well, like I'm really proud of everything, to, to be honest. And I love the design, love the materials, and even the chair itself. It's also made from the same technology as our pit bull display. Yeah, so you made me sit on the chair. And it is sustainable? Yep, it's sustainable and very durable. Plus, it's also lightweight and also can be... Um, disassemble and assemble it again, as you can see. Absolutely amazing. Well, I think me and Tom could use some of them because we have long days on the track. You can actually hear him right now making a lot of noise. Um, but thank you for showing me around your pit display, and I hope you have a great day and awards go well for you. I'm now here with Sidewinder. Hello. Hello. Did I take you by surprise then? A little bit, yes. Just a little bit. How are you guys doing? Yes, I think we're doing good. We just finished our enterprise engineering and project management and verbal presentation. So we could finish quite a lot. Okay, good. So I'm here to talk to you about your pit display. If I had to walk away and remember one thing about your pit display, what would it be? I think we're all trying to show like the main feature of sustainability. So as you can see, this is our pit display and we try to make it as sustainable as possible. And we've also used like cool graphics of our car and like for our team members. And yes, yeah, so what we did is we used roll up banners and also this foldable desk. So in total, it was only around 70 kg, so it fitted in our luggage, and yes. Amazing, can we see some of these? See some of these, if someone can show me what, what, what is going on here? You've got some goodies. So, um, um, so we've attained a lot of sponsors. Um, Pret has given us over 800 snack bars, which is a lot to give out at our pit display. So we have some on display and a, a lot under the shelves. Um, this is this is the evolution of our cars. So we're the youngest team in the competition. We're only 11 and 12 years old, and some of us are the youngest people to ever participate in an F1 in schools world finals. So even even though that we have that small disadvantage, we have had three years of an F1 in schools experience. So when we were nine years old, we participated in Formula Thara which is like our country's version of mini F1 in schools. So we won that and we came to the national finals, which was kind of a new experience for us. It was a bit difficult, but we won that and came first place in the rookie category. Um, this is our car now, we're in the world finals. Obviously it's um, a huge scale and it's, 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 a, it's been a really good experience and we've all loved it so much. I think you've done a great job, even as the youngest people to compete in this world finals. Um, it's very nice as well to see the people progressing from the primary all the way through to the to the, the world finals, the competition. And while we're on that note, shout out to Esco Morgan if you are watching this pit display. That is, that's the school that I went to, who I did this competition with. So, hi to you. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display, Sidewinder. I hope you have a great competition, doing amazing so far. I'm gonna nip over to Spy Car. Hello, surprise. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, we are doing great, and we finished um, today morning's competition, and we still have a race in the afternoon to finish. And, and who's pressing the button? Oh, the fastest react, of course, fast reactions. Uh, nervous about the race? No, never. I'm so excited about this. Ready to have the lightning fast reactions. I'm going to come over here. Tell me about your pit display, please. Okay, we just put some floating components to show our special design, like the one bearing wheel system and the two bearing wheel system. And we think our front is very beautiful and uh, like the shape of it is very good. And we also show the development of our car and we use the red one to show the, our final car because it's very beautiful. You can see like this. And it's the color that can fit our sponsor more like this. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Did this take a long time to build? Uh, yes, it's quite a lot of time, but we are very, uh, we build it with heavies and we don't think very nervous. Yeah. Very determined and no arguments on the team, no fights. No, no, no fight. No. We just very happy. Yeah. Very happy team and it's great to see. Doing amazing in the competition. Best of luck. I'm going to head over to our good old friends over at Nightingale. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. But we talk to you all the time. You're, you, sat with, you sit with me. I don't talk to you. One time. 
Oh, mm. That was scary. <laughs> I'm going to come over here. How are you? Good. Apart from almost trying to kill me on your pit display, is there anything else you want to tell me about it? Uh, well, we would absolutely love you to try our air track, which is a sustainable way of powering F1 and schools cars. Okay, I will avoid the track. And I just press the button. Three, two, one. Ooh. A sustainable way of not using CO2 gas canisters to power our car. This is the first model. Um, a collaboration with one of our sponsors, Stan Ape Sita, but we're hoping to develop it and get it working for the 20 metres. Okay, so you are proposing this idea to F1 in schools? Yeah, this is kind of on the basis of our sustainability strategy. Um, we wanted to incorporate it in everything we do, and we thought it's a fun thing to have on our display, as well as showing everyone that actually CO2 gas canisters don't need to be used, and we can just use the air. Absolutely amazing. I love that initiative. Um, you are very happy about racing, are you not? Oh, I'm very happy when it comes to racing, and uh, I think we had a lot of good times. I do think we could go a bit faster, you know. You, there's, there's good, but there's always better. So, I think that's where we need to head next. I just want to point out that the fan is now currently working, and hopefully the lights... It's coming. The lights are coming. Hopefully we can, we can wait a little bit to see it. Robert May, classic school in this competition. How do you make sure that your pit display stands out from everybody else's here? Um, we start off with a plan. You want a solid plan to start with, have loads of random ideas, put them on a mind map, and then target the ones you're going to develop. For us, it was the five senses. The fan, the perfume, the car track, the rock. And the crocs. And, well, and the crocs. They weren't part of our plan, they were a little extra. Absolutely amazing. And now we can finally see the fan in action, the fan that almost killed Amy Martin. But it's okay, I forgive you, it was my fault. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display, Nightingale, and I hope you have a great competition. It's so busy in this pit, pit lane walk right now, but I'm here with Dawn, how are you? Good, how are you guys? I'm very good, thank you. I'm absolutely loving seeing the pit displays. Who wants to tell me? It looks absolutely incredible. Who wants to tell me about it? Probably yeah, the best person. Pit display. Tell me about it. I made it. <laughs> That's it. But um, bye, bye, Dawn. Joke. I'm not going to. Um, so, TV. What's showing on here? Um, everything that we've done. Okay, right. I'm not taking this advice that I'm going to be talking over here. Talia. So we're going to Talia. Right. I'm going back over here. Lots of merch on the pit display. Why do you think that's important? Well, we really wanted to stay our merch environmentally friendly and also relevant. So our merch, we have like keep cups, right? As F1 students, we're all sleep deprived and in need of coffee. <laughs> Especially me and Tom. Um, but how have you been having these hot drinks in Singapore though? Well, I mean, they can take them back home. There's a lot of European countries around here, which I'm sure will appreciate some warm coffee. <laughs> Just a little bit cold. Um, so you've, you've got these, um, the We Are Dawn. What is, what is that about? So We Are Dawn is explaining who we are, why we came to be Dawn. So much of that is because we're a collaboration team. So it's our new era. It's something new, something better, and that's why we're Dawn. Lovely, lots of meaning behind this team. Thank you so much for explaining. Having words with you, very short answers. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display, Dawn, and I will see you on track. Pocadores! Pocadores, how are you? Uh, we're good, yeah. yeah. Very happy to be here? Yeah, of course. Happy to show me around your pit display? Sure. Uh, can we start? All right, um, our pit display is based on the Guardia Hills F1. I don't know if you watch, but it is this. Uh, here we have some products of our store, so we have our hats, our shirts in some different models, and here the shoes that we use in the in the race. Uh, here we have our portfolios, our car. Uh, that's the car that we use in the last competition in our national finals, and here is the beautiful helmet of the, our pilot, Lucas. We don't normally get to talk to the pilot, Lucas. How are you doing? I'm good. So you don't wear the pilot suit all all day. Not all day because it's really hot inside, so <laughs> we need to get off sometimes. Yeah, but when it's been cold in here in the aircon, you you, you want to put it on. Yeah, but most of the times it's on the races. There so I can see. Have you got? A, is this virtual reality? Uh, yes, we uh, created our own game, so we can you can experience the F1 in schools uh, experience. In there, you can have, for, for example, the track that is used in the competition, and you can shoot uh, all of the cars that our team produced during the season that has participated. You guys seem like massive F1 fans, am I right? Yeah? Who's your favourite driver? 
for me, I really like Hamilton from Mercedes. And, but Arjen, for example, is Dutch, so he loves uh, Max Verstappen. And did he pick the orange? <laughs> That's just a big laugh. Yeah. He picked the orange. That's what I'm going to tell everyone. Thank you for showing me around your pit display. <gasps> Amazing. I will. Oh, we dropped one. It is called beef. Amazing. It's because you can eat uh, just one time. So you always want to eat another one. Amazing. And that's why you gave me two. Thank you so much. I will see you later on track. I am here with Lion Rock. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Good. What were you playing here? Tell me about it. Reaction time. F1 starts. Uh, we are testing our reaction time. Have you finished racing today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How did it go? Great. <laughs> Who pressed the button? Ooh, me. And were you? Is this your reaction time? Um, not. Uh, the reaction time I play is like one, 160, 170, 180. That is quick, and this is what this is how you do it. You practice, practice, practice. Yes, and here is a game we can uh, we can let everyone join it, and we have some gifts to to them. Maybe a cup and how does it the charger? Yes. Yes, you gave me one of the chargers and I like it a lot. I'll be using it on the plane. What else have we got over here? If we could just get our cameraman to have a look. What is what is going on in this corner? Uh, this uh, uh, wood pit, uh, pit stop and we put the car inside and uh, yeah, it's make it more fun. Yeah. It hides the car from all the other competitors so they can't steal your ideas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have just I have just said that that's what this team is doing. Lion Rock, you're doing absolutely amazing. Um, have you enjoyed the competition so far? Yeah, yeah I really enjoy it. And as you can see, this pit display, uh, there are many introductions of our team. And our uh, team name, Lion Rock, it's about the spirit of never give up uh, that Hong Kongers does. Yeah. Yes, perseverance, never give up. Thank you for showing me around your pit display, Lion Rock. You've done an excellent job and good luck for the awards ceremony. Thank you. We are going to come over here to Wave Racing. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, how's, how's it gone? How's the competition gone so far? Uh, very well. We are uh, currently 18. Oh, yes, and it goes very good. Very good, 18th fastest time. Pit display looks absolutely incredible. Who wants to talk to me about the pit display? I, can. I will come over here then. Hello, Amy. Hello, how are you? They're making a lot of noise over there, aren't they? Yeah, it's uh, three good noise. A lot of noise. Tell me about your pit display, please. Is this coffee? So Yeah, this is coffee. Sadly, Nelson didn't let us make any. That was the initial plan. But again, we have the ROI of our sponsor, Cafe Coption. Um, we have an excellent explos explosion of our car over here. And behind, just behind us, our stopping system, which we, decide, which we designed ourselves, it actually got manufactured before the actual stopping system um, got uh, out. Um, we're really proud of it, you can imagine. Um, and we have here our portfolios. I think what sets us apart is the comic over here. This comic includes some of the main details of our journey. Um, at the beginning, it talks about the national final themes from Cyprus and Greece. Then at the 23rd of October happened our kickoff meeting. We decided the name Wave Racing. And it's then everyone has its own role and contributes to the team. Yeah, so really putting in the milestones of this team, I can imagine. Um, did you find it difficult being a collaboration team building this? Actually not, because we all had a good relationship. We planned really well. We had, our schedule was, I think, perfect. And yeah, this was actually really smooth. The uh, building of the uh, pit display went very well. So I'm happy with it. Absolutely amazing. I think it would be very hard to do something of this absolutely incredible pit display, not knowing each other from a couple of days ago. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. Wave Racing, you have been an absolute pleasure to talk to. Thank Thanks you. Thank you for, Thank you for showing me around your pit display. Oh, Max, we are here with Firestorm, German Firestorm, not yeah. Welsh Firestorm. How you doing? We're doing pretty good. We're done with all our judgings and all our racings for Dow. Yeah, we don't normally talk to you two because you two are normally driver and at the bottom of the track. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are. And how is the track? How is the car been? Breakages? No, we don't have a break. It's that is very good. But I'm not here to talk about the car. I'm here to talk about this pit display. Who wants to talk me through it? Can you can talk me. Do you want to come this side? Yeah. 
So our pit display, basically, we try to integrate our logo. And um, our logo is the tornado, and we uh, wanted to integrate it with the use. So we uh, made plexiglass tables, uh, built up a table and put stickers, so it looks like our logo. And um, we then uh, showed our car development, starting from the regional finals over to the national finals to the world finals, um, to basically show our car development. And we have developed a strategy that everything we do uh, with technical aspects is orange and everything with enterprise and project management is blue. That's why our car is orange and we have that separation in our pit display as well. And the tablets show um, just some photos from enterprise and from the technical area as well. Absolutely amazing. That is such a great run through of this pit display. I see you've got all your social media links there. Is that a big thing for your team? Yeah, we're quite active on social media, so um, it was important for us to show that in our pit display, yeah. And that is, is that a trophy that you won? If you were going to pick any of the other special trophies, not first, second or third, what would you pick? Project management. Project management. Okay, so everyone keep your eyes on Firestorm. They want the project management trophy. Thank you so much for showing me around Firestorm and best of luck and fingers crossed for that trophy. So, as you know, we are running around our pit walk. Um, Teams are very busy, so we're jumping from team to team. Right now we are at Team 3, Atlantis Racing. How are you? Oh, we're feeling great. Uh, great uh, competition. Uh, we're just done with everything. And uh, yeah, just hoping for the best for the ceremonies. An extremely busy couple of days for this team, I can imagine. Yeah, we were, well, I, 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 used, I used to say, like, we were running through, like, uh, judging sessions and racing, and we wanted to, like, talk with other teams, but we weren't able to because of this, like, this rushing. This schedule is absolutely crazy. So we are here to talk about your pit display. It looks absolutely amazing. If I was to go and tell Tom Deacon one thing about your pit display, what would it be? Um, maybe about the, our Brazilian roots. Like we want to represent it, so that's our main focus here. And what have we got on these um, on the screens here? What are these? So unfortunately, this is not working correctly. It should be working, but uh, this was so, uh, passing a video about us. And there is our favorite pictures about our team, so uh, throughout our history and everything else, which uh, is part of our identity. So uh, we really want to share it together with, uh, of course, our portfolios and our cars there. So the car's looking absolutely amazing. We've got this yellow helmet. Is this inspired by anyone? Uh, it's mostly to remember our biggest idol from Brazil, Ayrton Senna, and also to remember the Brazilian flag. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't put the stripes on it, but it's still, we still are paying homage to our uh, home hero. I think it looks absolutely amazing. How has racing gone today? Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the results we wanted. Uh, the car was a little bit more slow than we expected, but we were very happy with the results that it didn't, uh, we didn't have any breakages. Uh, and yeah, we're hoping for the best for knockouts. And so you're racing done, all done? Yes, all done. And who pressed the button? Uh, me and him. How did you find pressing the button? Oh, it was an uh, amazing feeling. I pressed the button in the world finals, you know, so I tried to don't feel any pressure, but at the end of the day, it was a good, a good reaction time, is and I hope the team was excited to my job as well. And are you happy that the team has got this far and that you're representing Brazil? And are you, are you just proud of being the Brazilian team here? Yeah, for sure. And we're going to talk to the one member we haven't spoken to. How are you feeling? Well, very excited. This is a very cool event, so this competition really gets me into my nerves a little bit, but I really like it. And what has been your biggest highlight of the competition so far? Well, I'd have to say I uh, really liked our presentations, but overall I think our entrances on the on stage were one of the highlights for us. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Atlantis Racing, for showing me your pit display. And I wonder which team will be next. <laughs> and we are here with Triumph from China. How are you doing? Really good. Really good. How has racing been today? The racing, well, um, we think that we can do better. And we actually... Uh, we are meeting our ex expectations. So we believe that in the uh, uh, knockout race tomorrow, we will do our best because uh, we've got really professional car fixers, which are these two. Yeah. yeah. We, we, sh we believe that our car will be better tomorrow. Yes, we check every part. We check the wheels, then the weight and something, and every like abrasions, and we believe that we have the confidence to be believe we can do better tomorrow, yes. Absolutely amazing, but we are not here to talk about the car. We are here to talk about the pit display. So if I'll move over here, how, tell me about your pit display. What is your favorite part? Of course, it's the, it's the, all, all, the all the things is really important, and this is our, our, our uh, light box. It's really great, you can see this, can you? Yeah, and this is our, our like, uh, video. You, you can, showcasing video, yeah. Amazing. This so we've amazing. got yeah. 
a video showing the the team's progression? Yeah, yeah, the the progression and our our find the, our great design of the car and our renders. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And then over here in this cabinet, um, what are these? These are the cars, the display cars of our of our team. Oh, sorry. These are the display cars of our team, and it reveals how our cars uh, developed uh, during the last two weeks. The last two weeks? You were developing up to two weeks ago? Yes. So, sorry. We, we, we built the first car just about two weeks out, uh, before ours, we set off to Singapore, and we discovered some errors. So each one is better than the last one, and we used different colors for each one. And that one's our test car, so it's showcased so that it will show how good, uh, how much things we improved for each car. And finally, that's our race car in Singapore, and we're really proud of it. Absolutely amazing. So working right up to the end. Thank you for showing me around your pit display, Triumph. Best of luck for the racing. And now I'm here with Velox Racing. How are you? Very good, thank you. Are you eating a sweet? What, sorry? Are you eating a sweet? No, I have a strepsils in my mouth. He has straps. Oh, we've all got sore throats in this team, haven't we? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean... Uh, so who was feeling well enough to tell me about the pit display? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Always. So I'm going to go and tell Tom Deacon one thing about your pit display. What should it be? Our TV. Uh, so our TV has been, um, I think, one of our interactive features of the pit display. Uh, we have really expressed our whole journey on our TV with like showing different aspects. And if you see, there are a few funny photos that we've incorporated as well, you know, keep it lighthearted. So you also have all of the renders and the portfolios here, along with some iterations of the car. Um, why do you think it's important? You want to show other teams all the hard work that's gone into the competition? Uh, yeah, of course. It's, all, it's about displaying your knowledge that you've gained over the past few months and, you know, to show the teams that how our variation is different to theirs and, you know, learning from our ideas and their ideas to, you know, create a better overall experience for us in the future. And do we have an engineer um, on this side of the team? Have you been looking at other people's teams, other people's pit displays and seeing what information you can get? Yes, absolutely. I've actually interacted with a lot of the teams and their I've interacted with a couple of engineers. It's actually incredible the amount of talent that's within this ballroom. It, there's, there's a lot of geniuses in this room and um, I'm incredibly happy to be amongst them and um, hopefully in the future I can improve my skills and my knowledge as well. Yes, a lot of knowledge in this ballroom. I'm going to say thank you to Velox Racing. You kept me company for quite a while before. We have spoke a lot. Thank you so much. And I am here with Recoil Racing. This is going to be a quick one because they are going to have to run to racing soon. How are you guys doing today? Very fine. We are very happy with the, the interviews we, we had today. Yeah. Yeah, we don't normally get to talk to you because you're normally down the other end of the track doing the towels. I am, yeah. An important job. Did you offer to do that one? Yeah, I, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Yeah. Teammates shaking their head, they do, they do not agree. We are here to talk about the pit display. So I'm going to go and tell Tom Deacon, Tom Deacon one thing about your pit display. What should it be? Who wants to tell me? Definitely our beamer. Explain, please, and show. Okay, so we have, we have a lot of videos that you can watch on our pit display. For example, you can meet us as a team. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, yeah, so we have an ultra close distance beamer that projects videos to this wall. And yeah, I think that's a very innovative. Amazing. Who's, whose idea was it? Sorry? Who's, was, it, was it your idea? Yes, uh, the pit display is my responsibility here. Oh, and why didn't we talk to you first then? Yeah, because I was standing on the other side. <laughs> well, we're talking to you now. Yeah. So it looks absolutely incredible. Is there anything else you want to tell me about your pit display? It's held pretty minimalistic to... to be sustainable for us so we chose this design but yeah that's basically all have you had a look around anybody else's pit displays yeah we had yeah it, it, they are all great any ideas for future oh i don't think we're going to participate again but the, for the future definitely yeah wow uh, okay well i've got one part of recall racing i don't know if you can you guys gave me the most amazing scrunchie um your merchandise of course this is going to be on tomorrow as well i love it so much the colors you guys are doing a great job is there anything else you want to say to the camera anyone else you want to thank we wish the best of luck to everybody we're so happy to be here and yeah thanks to our sponsors yeah. thanks to sponsors thanks to siemens and Scheffler especially and thanks like teachers. Teachers. Yes, and thanks to our teachers and our parents. So many people to thank. Um, best of luck with racing. Sorry if we held you up at all. Um, I hope it goes well. Thank See you me. soon. Thank you, Recoil. I am here with Aqua X. How are you today? I'm feeling great. You are quite high on the leaderboard still. 
Yeah, yeah, second right now. Still, so you know the facts more than me. Second on the leaderboard. Wow. Happy with that? Yes, of course. I'm very happy. Did you expect it? Um, From the very start, honestly, I didn't really know what to expect. It's kind of scary, but like to see us being second, coming so far, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, I'm stoked. It is really amazing. You're doing a great job. I'm here to talk to you about your pit display. Who wants to tell me about it? Okay, sure. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so which part do you want to know? Uh, tell me your favorite. What's your favorite part about it? Well, my favorite part, aside from the favorite, my favorite hoodie, is honestly our displays right here, which is the... Mm, right here is the wheel caps, the one we use, the face mask to make the wheels of this thing. Yeah, so the wheel caps of it, we use face masks, we melted it together to make this really cool wheel caps, and afterwards, we also made the halo and the helmet from the fishnet filaments that we got. Hmm. Absolutely amazing. And then you've got a timeline here. So you've been working on this project for a whole year. Oh, yes, actually we did, yeah. It, well, I can tell you, this looks absolutely amazing. So, And then you've got an exploded view of the car, some, some key important parts. What is the Vortex Generator? Vortex Generator is actually the, one of our design from old car, which after um, several testing, testing, we didn't put it on this car. But this car, what is special about our car here is one is the shock rear fin at the bottom, as you can see here. It is connecting to our team identity, which is ocean related, as well as um, making sure the car uh, reduce stragability and for the aerodynamics too. Absolutely amazing. And yes, shark theme in Aqua X. I love it. You guys are doing a great job. Fingers crossed you can stay on the podium, second on the leaderboard. Best of luck. Thank you for showing me your pit display and good luck. Here with Kyle <laughs> and the rest of Innovation. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Amy. How are you? Have you been told as communications manager that this is your job? I was not, but I'm ready. Anyone else want to talk to me about the pit display? Uh, oh, down there we have our pit display. Oh, yes. it's David's turn to talk. Yes, my turn how are you doing? Talk. I'm doing great, how are you? I'm, I'm great. Go on, tell me, pit display. Well, cardboard, yeah. it's the way to go. You know, we've got sustainability, number one. Uh, that's, all we, that's all we were aiming for. So yeah, we designed the, the um, table to be fully cardboard, to be easily packed down, to lower our emissions while transporting it overseas. And yeah, we've reused the banner from a previous competition. And that's about it, yeah. And that's about it. That's all David's given me. Um, you've got the all of these cars. So you've been doing this competition since 2019. Uh, yes, I have been doing this competition. I've been doing it since 2020, but the uh, three original Innovation members have been doing it since 2019. And I'm going to go talk to one of the three original Innovation members. Since 2019, what does F1 in Schools kind of mean to you? And how has is, how is your journey through the competition kind of gone? Um, I mean, F1 in schools is pretty crazy. It's the only thing we've done for five years, which has been huge. Like, when you sit at school and you do projects, you do them for like a month, right? But we've done this for five years straight. So that's been incredible. Um, but we've also, I mean, yeah, it's been really cool. You can see our progress just by looking at the cars. And to get here is an incredible achievement. So do you think you're going to do it for a sixth year? And an original member, is it going to be your sixth year in the competition? Uh, well, we'd love to, but unfortunately, we're all 18 uh, in our last years of school. Uh, but it's great that we've been able to make it to the world final in our last chance, and we're hoping to make an impact. Yeah, and the time has come. You've got to move on sometimes, and hopefully you'll be in the future in real F1, like a lot of the people in this competition so far. Thank you so much for talking to me, Innovation, and I will see you on the track or at the awards. Who knows? Uh, Team Iris, how are you? Good, yeah, how are you? You've been waiting a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we are here to talk about your pit... <laughs> cheeky look at the watch, I saw that. Um, we are here to talk about your pit display. Yeah. Was it difficult to build a pit display um, as a collaboration team? Oh, very. Uh, we only kind of... We've been up since like five o'clock assembling it in the morning. A huge metal structure in our room. We were all in bed on top of each other just to make space like so. And who was in charge of building the... the taking the metal structure over here, Brazil or Ireland? Ireland. Ireland. Is that... Is Ireland further? Brazil. From no, no. Brazil had 14 hours and then another eight hour transfer, like very long. Oh, that is. Only like 14 hours overall, like so. Too long of a journey. Yeah, so, yeah. who was in charge of making and designing the pit display? That was me. Come over here, Owen. You tell me. I'm going to go and tell Tom Deacon one thing about your pit display. What should it be? What should it be? 
I can I can tell more if you want, but tell me what's your favorite thing. Oh, well, it has this feature here. So it's got a magnetic panel here. So it's attached magnetically, and that means we can use the inside as storage. And Oh, oh sorry, that's our affiliate member. Sorry, he doesn't like light, so he just stays in there. That's my bad, sorry. Oh, no, Tom is going to be upset he missed that. <laughs> um, yeah, carry on. So yeah, it's uh, made of uh, Fomex PVC panels, so they've got a really nice finish, and they're lightweight yet uh, flexible. And everything fit in three standard size suitcases, so there's no oversized luggage, and it's 100% recyclable, as you can see there. Um, and all the artwork is made to conform to this grid. So we, we this year really turned the constraint of the new pit display regs and really ran with the, the push for sustainability and, and turned it into an improvement rather than a constraint. Absolutely amazing. So did you get to see what Owen had designed before we got here? Well, we saw some bits of it, but it was a little bit of a surprise, actually. It was very exciting to get here and see like the entire thing ready, because being a collaboration, you really have to trust on each other to know that when we arrive here in Singapore, we're going to have everything. So I was very happy and pleased to see amazing display that he drew. And yeah, lots of trust in Team Iris, and I'm very glad that you all trust each other, because it looks absolutely incredible. One of my favorite ones, but... I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Surprise uh, for the Brazilians. <laughs> so this, this is Diego. This is Diego right here. Hello, I'm Diego. <laughs> if you'll see right here over in the very corner, you'll see actually a little Diego. So that was our surprise for the Brazilians. When, when so the was Diego was on the pit display back in Ireland. That's all I'm hearing. Thank you so much for talking to me, Team Iris. A very fun team. And hello, Sirius Lucifer, how are you? Hi, we're feeling so great. And this flag, I have not seen this flag before. Yeah, it's our team flag. National, because we always wear the national flag, so yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna come over this side. Um, pit display, looks absolutely amazing. The, de the design, who was in charge of this? I'm in charge of this. You talk me through your pit display. Yeah, it's just uh, we use some Chinese traditional decorations like the clouds patterns and all of these patterns. And especially this stand where it's purely made of papers and we just, uh, it's and it's totally handmade. So it's a little bit expensive, but it's uh, easy to carry around with and it's sustainable. Yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. So you've got, what, are these different designs of the cars? This one's got um, a 63 on it. Is this one George Russell's number? Yeah, it's our team number for the competition, yeah. So this is this, this is your car that you're racing today? Yeah, yeah. And how's it gone? How's racing gone? Uh, pretty well, actually out of expectations, yeah. Okay, that's, that's amazing, because you're quite high on the leaderboard. What, what? You're quite high on the leaderboard. Yeah, we are 18th on the leaderboard, yeah. Well, I hope you don't go lower than 18th and you stay where you are and you do knockouts tomorrow. Yeah. Best of luck, seriously, Lucifer. Thank you for showing me around your pit display. Oh, I was just seeing all the photos here yeah. of the, the, the team. Looks absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much and good luck. Vela Racing Team, how are you? Uh, we're good. J just good? We're great. We're fourth on the... the Thing. Putting that in there very early on, fourth on the leaderboard. So you raced um, earlier this morning. Have you finished racing today? Yes. And, yes. and you're still you're still fourth. Yes. Well, very good. Well, enough of racing talk. I don't think you want to talk about it. Um, the pit display. Who who was in charge of this? Who wants to talk to me about this? I have been. I have got. I've had so many of these suites. They are amazing. Take off the paper. Take off the paper. Take off the paper because Tom Deacon did eat. Sir, don't be careful. <laughs> Cameraman gets one as well. Actually, we have our own game here. Uh, you have to guess all, all the tracks you can in the timer until the timer runs, runs out. So, do you want to play? Oh, do you want to take all your pit display time to, m watching me try and do this? Well, yes. yes. Okay. Do you know Singapore? No, Austin. Yes. Austin. Um, Do you know this? That's Barcelona. No, Silverstone. Oh no, that's really embarrassing for me. Do you know this? That one's Bahrain. Yes, this. Baku. I think it's Canada it because is Baku. It, 
I think it's Azerbaijan. I am correct. Uh, we, we are going to go over here. You've got a virtual reality headset. Yes. Tell me what's in it. Uh, it's our metaverse. We created a metaverse. You can see all the information you need for the team. Pictures uh, from our portfolios, our logo, everything. Um, and this is our AI. We basically fed it data, so now you can ask it any question uh, regarding F1 and it answers. F1 in schools. And who is the best team in F1 in schools? The best team right now? Well, <laughs> I have to say my team. That is, yeah, oh, wow, okay, good answer. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job, fourth on the leaderboard, so do you think you can stay there for the rest of the day? For the rest of the day, I hope so. Uh, we're going to see what's going on, what's going to go on in the knockouts. And hopefully, fingers crossed for a good knockout race. You guys have been absolutely amazing. It's been great to talk to you. Thank you for showing me around your pit display. Oh, one more. Thank you very much. I will be back to show you the rest of the trucks that I know. Thank you so much for telling me about the pit display. Oh, I've been greeted by a different team. But I am here to talk to Nave team. How are you? Whoa, this is more than I'm used to. I can go right here. Hi, how are you doing? We're doing great. Yeah, we don't normally talk to you because you're the driver. Yeah, no one talks to me. <laughs> That's okay, it's your time to shine. Tell me about your pit display. Well, I will let my teammate, she's really excited to, to talk about it. Okay, I will go this side so we can see the pit display. Okay, uh, so the pit display, it's inspired in a type of game like old structure. And we have like all the figures with these lines that represent like the reflection of the sunset. And our logo also represents like a sunset because we are from Aguascalientes, Mexico, and they are from Curitiba, Brazil, and we have beautiful sunsets. Yes, I can imagine both beautiful countries. Did you find it difficult to make a pit display as a collaboration team? Um, well, I think it was not that difficult because we have like divided the things we need to do and they had a lot of disposition like all the team and Mexico and Brazil for making this possible. And are you enjoying the competition so far? What's been your highlight? Um, I don't know. We don't know. What's your highlight then? Uh, I think that uh, like all the whole experience, knowing new people, uh, having fun, like all the presentation and the work and like all the effort for being here, it's something uh, unvaluable. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. And have you finished with all your judging now, all done? Yes. What is the plan for tonight? What are you going to do to celebrate? Um, we are going to go to Singapore and like know all the city and also um, like party in the pool or whatever we want to celebrate all these hard work. Party in the pool, the Brazilians and the Mexicans are having a party. Everyone get down to the pool, join them. Thank you so much for showing me around. Lovely to talk to the driver. Sorry no one talks to you. Um, but thank you very much. Now they're racing. And Tom Deacon is making a lot of noise over here. But I am talking to another team, Velocita. How are you? Very good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. I'm here to talk to you about your pit display. Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> and I'm, I'll just, I'll look at it. But I'll just have a minute of me looking at your pit display. <laughs> Who wants to talk to me about the pit display, the design? I'll go over here to the designer. <laughs> Hi, so I'll start with the display. Okay, so here on the right side we can see meet the team, so we'll introduce ourselves first. I'm Ayushi, the team manager. I'm Sian, the pit display designer. I'm Ahana, the graphics designer. I'm Zenha, the project manager. I'm Aiden, I'm the manufacturing engineer. I'm Ame, and I'm the design engineer. That is the first meet the team we have had today, thank you for that. <laughs> Car carry on with the pit display, please. Okay, so in the center you can see obviously our car which uh, the boys will be explaining to you because, you know, they know the technical terms. And on our right, we can see our logo, why the name is Velocita. Then our three Vs. So our mascot is the eagle, and we have three Vs, which is victory, vision, and vitality. And down you can see cute pictures, cute drawings, actually, of these uh, come under community engagement. These are done by kids of our, around our age. And here are our uniforms, and this is the final uniform of ours. Okay, now um, Zenha will be telling about the digital platforms kept over here. Amazing, I'll go over here. Yeah, sure. We have um, three digital platforms. That's ProTerra, that talks about sustainability. This is our community engagement, and these are our three portfolios. 
And so have you been looking at any other teams' pit displays? We have been. We have been engaging with the other teams. It's and really as nice. Everyone's really nice. Are there any ideas that you want to steal if you want to come back next, next year? What pit displays have you liked the most? I think there's one team over here that did the cardboard pit display. Like they've built the entire thing from pieces based on the cardboard. And I think I really like the jigsaw puzzle they made over there. I, I love the fact that all the F1 teams can have a chat and have a, um, have a gossip and get to know what everyone else is doing in this competition. Do you think, we haven't spoken to you guys, do you think the competition's gone well? Yes. Man, a few words. Do you think it's gone well? Yeah, we are very happy with our car. It's performed. Yeah. I have loved getting to know you, Velochita, and I really hope you have a great um, award ceremony tomorrow. Thank you for having me. Bye -bye. And we are coming over to, we have Talak Racing. Is that how I say it? Yes. Black Racing. Black Racing, very excited. How has today gone? Perfect, was an exciting day. Who normally is the driver? Who normally presses the button? We don't talk to you, do you want to come? Have you been nervous? Yeah, we're so, so. Just a little bit nervous, but I think you've done a really good job, very fast times. Oh, thank you. Um, who made the pit display? Uh, here is your team mascot. The name of your mascot is Tlaki. Here we have a part of your town. That's Tlaquepaque. That's your town. And here we have a part of the story of the team. That was your old cards. <laughs> and your achievements of the national final. So you came third at your national finals. And do you think you can beat the other Mexican teams here? Yes. Uh, we are proud that Mexico is here in this competence. And does it, what does it mean to you to represent Mexico? Uh, we are proud because we hope that other people, young people or, or your community participate in this type of challenge because this is an incredible experience. Um, what has been your your team's favorite part about the competition? Uh, my favorite part, I think, that is to talk with other teams and share experience with them. Making a lot of friends at the F1 in Schools yes. World Finals. Yes, that's my favorite part. Well, I absolutely love the energy in this team. It's absolutely amazing. Hello. Hello. We haven't spoken to you before. Okay. <laughs> uh, Happy to be happy to be here. Yes, I'm so very happy. <laughs> I love the. We're all so happy here. I love the passion that comes from this team. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display, and I really hope you have a good World Finals. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I am here with Shaheen Racing, and I want to get to know every single member of this team. So, do you want to tell me your name and what you did in the team? Uh, I'm Liam Madini, the marketing manager. I am with Tambusi, the resources manager. I am Noor Al Sadat, uh, the project manager. Labah Al Harbi, the design engineer. Ibrahim Sagaf, manufacturer engineer. And I have been informed that I am to talk to you about the pit display if I want to know anything. So I'm going to go and tell Tom Deacon one thing about your pit display. What should it be? Um, I think it should be that all our pit display is sustainable. And another just small thing that this is very exciting. It's like uh, a race that you can do and like enga it's engaging. You can play with the cars. Uh, yeah. Have you had a lot of teams come to try to yeah, beat you? Everyone, we had a lot of teams and uh, uh, it, the, the battery is finished because they played a lot. <laughs> and I've got to ask, you've got two Sebastian Vessel Ferraris. Why, what, is there a reason for this? Uh, because we're in the Formula One and schools competition and uh, it looks good, so. Two Ferraris, Ferraris do always look good. And you've got these lovely plinths that are holding up the track. What, what do these show? Uh, these are all sustainable, they're made out of acrylic and they're very easy to put inside our bags. Like we just used four bags to put all this. So that's why we chose it. So you can see it's like a puzzle, like we just tuck, 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 and then we're done. <laughs> and what is inside them? What are all these, um, are these all the car iterations? What are they? Yeah. So here we have our car development. We wanted to make it like uh, in a special way. Uh, just as she said, uh, it's on a spinning device, but the battery finished, unfortunately. And over here, we have uh, the cultural uh, side of our uh, country. So we have traditional clothing, food, and drink. And at the, uh, in the far back, you can see other trophies we won along uh, our way. 
here to the World Finals. And have you been looking at the other Saudi Arabian pit displays? Um, seeing, do you think yours is the best one? Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> But all, all of the Saudi uh, pit displays and other pit displays are great and uh, many ideas, dif different ideas. Uh, have you finished judging now? All done? Yes, we finished uh, everything, uh, almost everything yesterday. Today we only had the enterprise, so yesterday was a busy day. So what is your plans for tonight? What are you going to do? Tonight I don't know if it would be a rest day or we have something else to do, but we'll see when we get back. Well, I hope you have a great night. Thank you so much. Have we met? I didn't get to know you. What was your name and what did you do on the team? Uh, I'm Samuel Fefi and I'm the graphic designer. And the graphic designer? You must have had something to do with the pit display. Yep. I designed the content, the banners and the table. I draw it. And yeah. Well, I think it looks amazing. Sorry you didn't get to t show me around, but we've got a tight schedule to keep to. I'll t oh, a plant. We are. This is the pencil and this is the seat, okay? So you can put it in the floor and it's kind of flat. And this is also, you can put it in the floor and you can see it's a plant. So you can take it, this is a giveaway. So Thank you so much. I will make myself a plant. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing me around. I am here with Osmos Racing. How are you? Yeah, good. Good? Had a good day? Yeah, absolutely. So how has racing gone? Um, I think everything is going on except the last one. We ha we got the four start, but it's okay. That's okay, it happens. A lot of four starts in this competition. So I'm here to talk to you about your pit display. Who wants to tell me about the pit display? Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, we discussed uh, for the pit display what we uh, the structure of it. Um, to bring, uh, we have a purpose to begin with uh, to bring a special structure into our pit display. We have uh, uh, separate our pit display into 10 parts, and this 10 parts has consolidated uh, what our project has carried out. So, uh, to make things simple, to make this simple, so we got here our sustainable corner. Yeah, we use hydrogen as our uh, hydrogen as feature fuel, because it is one of the way to reducing uh, climate change. So we got here our team members, our uh, car. Our car name is Tiger Dragon. Tiger from Malaysia and Dragon from Hong Kong. Uh, and here's uh, our marketing strategy. And here's our uh, attraction to, to attract visitors. Yeah. So our strategic collaboration, the monitor that, uh, that shows our marketing strategy and also the monitors to uh, showing the hydrogen how it works basically. So you've also, are these all bookmarks for yeah. the Grand Prix of the season in Formula One? Yeah. Um, so it made by the um, uh, recycled materials uh, by Hong Kong using their own machine in their schools. So we are very proud to um, bring it here. And have you seen that Vela Racing has got a game where you have to guess the tracks? Oh, I didn't do that, but she knows about that. I'm so sorry. I feel like you guys would be very good at that game. I wasn't very good, but I think you guys might have a chance. Thank you so much for showing me around your pit display. It's been lovely to get to know you. Thank you. Good luck. I am here to talk to Lightfly. Hello. How are you? Great. Excited to be here. Very good. I'm glad. I am here to talk to you about your pit display. So tell me about it. Yes, it's our first time in competition. We are really proud of it. It represents all our values, and um, we thought uh, it should represent the formula. So there's formula at every stage of the process. At that side, there are all, um, other versions uh, of prototypes. And uh, also on our monitor uh, slash TV, there are prototypes of formula. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go over here and talk to some of the other team. Um, who designed the pit display? Uh, it was basically our whole team's creation. The main goal behind it was to make it sustain as sustainable as possible. I mean, everything is made out of either paper or cardboard. So we did a pretty good job here. So as it is your first time competing, what were you expecting to see other people's pit displays? Is it what you expected? Are they better? Um, they are pretty much what I, what we expected. Yeah, we expected this competition to be on a higher level, and we definitely received that. So, 
And um, do you think you'd return? Do you think Slovenia will have more teams in this competition in the future? Yeah, absolutely. We are actually hoping to host the national finals next year. So uh, it should be pretty exciting in the future. Well, that seems like that would be a great event. Thank you so much for meeting me. Oh, uh, thank you so much for talking to me. I'm just going to pop this way, actually. Okay. We're just going to go back over to Kronos Racing. Hi, how you doing? Irish bucket hat? Yep. We don't get to talk to you a lot on track because you're always pressing the button. How has racing gone? Uh, it was good. It's hard. It's, yeah, a lot of pressure pressing the button. Nerve wracking. Yeah. So I am here to talk about your pit display. I gave my very brief um, thought on what the pit display is about, but you can tell me. So uh, basically what we did was we tried to be as sustainable as possible. Um, so if you actually look here, this, this box is all the waste we have from our pit display. Just this little box here. Um, I think it's, it was really important for us to you know, try to be as sustainable as possible. Um, and we plan to bring this pit display back home, uh, back to our school and you know, give pre presentations to you know, younger generations in our school and try and promote the STEM and Formula One in schools. Um, yeah, we, we were pretty happy how it turned out. Uh, we had no idea what it would look like because we weren't able to do a mock-up. But uh, yeah, we, th we think it looks really good. So when I was having a look before, I saw that you have lots of different designs and concepts over here in the in the corner with the halo. Um, what are these concepts? Are they the different design iterations or are they just ideas? Uh, well, these are like the different engineering designs. So like, for example, you have the front wing up there and the wheels, like the different types of wheels that we were able to try out in UCD. And then the different actual body cars at the bottom. So we're able to like variate like the different wings and wheels with them all. So and do you think all that design thought and effort has kind of come to fruition at this World Finals? Happy with how the cars performed? Uh, yeah, we're happy so far, but we hope we can do even better. Hopefully for knockouts tomorrow, you can do a great job. Thank you so much for showing me around, Kronos. I'm now going to go that way again. Thank you and good luck for the awards. Uh, very busy pit lane. I'm going to go over here to Propulsion from Australia. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I've come over to you, Samuel, because you are the graphic designer. Yep, that's right. So this is your creation. Yep. Tell me about it. Okay, well, as you can see, well, Juliana's the pit display designer, but my role as the graphic designer is to make sure that we have a really nice impression of the pit display. So what I can tell you from my role is that we wanted to put a large focus on the car, right? So you can see we have our cars from all of our past. You can see they're green because we used to be like a, a past team called Dextro, right? But now, you know, we've moved on to propulsion, so. I'm going to go over to pit display designer because I've been told off for assuming it was it was your role. Oh, no. <laughs> how, have you, how have you been in this competition? I'm good, thanks. How are you going? Oh, the competition. Yeah, I've been good with it. And yeah, all the team's just excited to be here. Well, this is your time to shine now. <laughs> Sorry that he stole it for a little bit. <laughs> you tell me about your pit display. What is your favorite part? Oh, I think the favorite part of our pit display is it's modular design. So what we've been doing before the competition is moving the tables out for better audience interactivity. So for the launch event of our car and a mentoring session with our year sixes, we've been spreading it around, telling them about our team, telling them about our fun. And it's all just been really good, yeah. Um, have you tried the nose cone challenge yet? Our uh, nose cone challenge, yes, we have. And then yep, we were able to pass that. So oh, thank goodness for that. And you were, you were happy. Was it quick? Uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. I'm happy we got over and done with. So, yeah. That's good. That's a new element for this year's World Finals, am I right? Oh, yeah, I think this is a new one, yeah. Great. That I At least I'm up to date. And you've got all your social medias up there. Is social media a big part of your team? I... I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> Hello, yep. Um, so although I'm not even responsible for social media. Who is? This guy. Uh, we'll go. I'm jumping through all of this team, social media manager. Yes, that's me. A key part for your team, something big that you focus on? Um, it's a pretty, pretty big part of it because without social media, we wouldn't have really any online presence. And it's a really, really key part of how we interact with our sponsors and our community and like people that we want to get in contact with. It's a really good way to do it. I feel like we might have to move so that our, um, our cameraman can get the, um, the social medias. Is that an award that you would like to walk away with at the end of the World Finals? If we could win an award for social media, that would be incredible because I've spent a lot of time on it. And yeah, that would be awesome if we could win that. Well, fingers crossed for you, Propulsion. I hope you have a great competition, and I will see you later. Thank you. I'm going to come over here to Pioneer from China. Wow. How are you? Yes, I, fine. I'm fine. For the, uh, yes. Excited. I'm very excited for this competition. Um, have you raced today? 
Um, yes, two times we raised about. How did it go? Um, not too bad, not too good. <laughs> That's okay. I'm here to talk to you about your pit display. So who wants to talk to me about that? We're, we're just deciding yeah. to, yeah. to discuss this pit display. Um, okay, we're going to go. Someone's going to tell me about the pit display. Okay. The pit display, we use a projector display to replace the traditional panel display uh, that is more environmentally friendly and uh, it can be used and update easily. It looks absolutely amazing. What is on the projector? Uh, this is the video of uh, our Hong Kong development class until now and the process of our team. And have you enjoyed looking around other people's pit displays? Yes, yeah, sure. Do you think um, you can take any ideas from the pit display? Oh uh, yes, of course. We have seen many teams. They uh, have a like a friend and and uh, have an animation inside, and we think oh that is cool. And we maybe the next time we will put it inside. My well, hopefully you can develop and then come to the next year's world finals with a brand new pit display. But I think this is a really cool idea. So thank you, Pioneer, for showing me around your pit display. I'm going to jump over now to Prime Racing, the second second Prime Racing, but this time it's from Brazil. How are you? Um, we're very nice. We're very happy to be here, and we're doing our best and expecting the best as well. How do you think the competition's gone? I think we went well. Yeah, we we had everything already, and we're very very confident. And racing was okay. Yeah, uh, we hoped it went better, but it went well. Yes. Always room for improvement. But I'm here to talk about the amazing pit display behind me. So who wants to talk to me about that? I'm gonna come come over here. Okay, so, so in our pet display, we integrated a, a pantographic panel that we can reduce like into one meter. Uh, we integrated to a cardboard table to put our products and a cardboard uh, structure, central structure, to put our car and some iPads with some information about our portfolios, technical drawings and renderings. So there are lots of Brazilian teams in this competition. Do you think you have the best pet display? Uh, we we think so, and we expect that that uh, we receive uh, the award of the best pit display. That's good. That's the first time I've had someone this whole day tell me they want to win the pit display award. So fingers crossed, it's you. So you've got your um, all your merchandise down here. Has has a lot of people been coming and taking it? Yes, they have. In fact, uh, we had a lot of. Um, of gifts at the first day and they just keep reducing, reducing and reducing. If you want to get some, we have. I will, I will reduce it further. Thank you very much. Do you know what? I, Sam Chapman lost his water bottle. So I will give him this water bottle because he needs one. Um, what are you most looking forward to about the award ceremony and the rest of the competition? I think we're looking forward to finally get the results, right? Because we're all anxious to know effectively, effectively how we did and how uh, to improve next time, what uh, teams got each award. Because even though we didn't, uh, we didn't get to, uh, wait, we don't get to get an award, uh, we're very curious to know all of the results. So I think the awards in general are I think it's a very, very nervous situation, but it'll be very relieved afterwards. Yes. I think you have done a great job, Prime, and I'm so excited to see. Along with you, I'll be scared for the awards as well, but I'm excited to see what you guys walk away with. So well done, and best of luck. Thank you. I am now heading over to Hadron. How are you doing? Well, thanks. You good? Having a good time? Yeah, amazing time. And how's racing gone today? Um, slowly getting better during the day, which was surprising for a lot of teams, but it's really good to see it. So you've raced twice now? Yeah. Okay, and, and your smiles on the face still? Yeah, lots of smiles. Yeah. Anyway, we are here to talk about your pit display, so who wants to talk me through it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going over to Aston. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. This is a pit display. Um, it is branded in Hadron uh, because that is our team. So uh, ju just then, all your team members came up, and it seems like we're missing one. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know where she went, but that's all right. We will find her later. 
because obviously this is of utmost importance to us. <laughs> so um, our pit display clearly shows our Hadron logo um, that is being brightly displayed with all our cars, uh, the two collaboration cars on the side merging into the one car in the middle uh, and then really showing our logo down in the bottom. Our pit display is split into two sections, our engineering over that side with Julian um, and then Enterprise over here with our marketing materials. So you have um, taken inspiration from uh, Hadron Collider, I assume? Yes, we took inspiration from the Large Hadron Collider, um, being two teams merging together to make one, uh, where, where two particles smashing together to make one big particle. The team, that is one big particle. Um, I, I do love the branding on this team. All the Australian teams always manage to come up with such unique branding. Do you feel pressure? to be the best Australian team at this World Finals? Well, that's obviously what we pushed to do, but I'm um, obviously proud of all of Australia. I'm happy to compete with them. Um, all lovely people, so happy to compete with them. And uh, again, lovely people. <laughs> and you've all finished judging now, all done? Yes, um, today we had the verbals and enterprise judging, um, which both went well. Uh, quite happy with our results and hoping to come out on top. Amazing. Very good to hear that it's gone well for you, Hadron. I wish you the best of luck. Very excited for the award ceremony to see where you end up. Thank you for showing me around the pit display. And I'm going to come over to Kinnery Racing. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Thank you. And um, now we finally get to see a full view of the driver's um, trousers and the, and the traditional clothing. Absolutely amazing. How has your day been? Good. How are you? I'm having a great day, thank you. Um, Kinneray Racing has such a good team identity, such good branding. Um, do you want to tell me about your pit display? So, uh, our pit display, so as you can see here, they are comprised of like, uh, like many, like many sections. And you see like here, like these one, two, three, uh, four, five, six sections. These are all actually um, coffee, chair, uh, coffee, no, sorry. And the center uh, three pieces, these are all actually a set of um, coffee table and chairs. Which, from our testing, these chairs can withstand up to 100 kilograms. So most adults can like sit on this with no problems at all. Should we get our cameraman to try and sit on it? Um, yeah, but you have to take it down yourself. I am not going to touch this amazing stand. The branding on this team is absolutely incredible. I'm going to go over and talk to someone about the branding. Why do you think it's so important to have um, your traditional clothing and your, your branding to be so perfect throughout the whole competition? I think it's important because we show we're showing like our Thailand, like our country, and we are representing our country. So I think it's important to like show our culture as well. And what does it mean to you to be representing Thailand at uh, the Afghani Schools World Finals? Yeah, so I'm very proud to represent Thailand, and representing Thailand is like spreading awareness about our culture and what we eat, what we do, what what we are. And I think you're doing an amazing job. Just one more time, though. Can you tell me what um, Kinare is, what Kinare Racing stands for? Kinare is a Thai creature, mystery Thai creature. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tell me? You're going to tell me. him. Just give it to him. Oh. <laughs> I'm meeting all of this team today. You can tell me what does Kinnery Racing mean? So Kinnery is in Thai myth uh, mythology is a mythical creature that is um, half woman for above the torso and below the torso uh, she takes the form of a bird. And she can fly between the mythical world and the mortal world in incredibly fast speeds, which is something that we aspire to have in our cars. I got the answer. That is what Kinnery means. Thank you so much for welcoming me to your pit display and telling me all about Thailand. So thank you so much. Best of luck to the, to, for the rest of the competition. And I'm going to go back this way. We are here with Team Infinity Racing from India. How's today been? It's been great. We've done a lot of, uh, we've had a few de deliverables and we've had two races. It's been fun. And how's the racing gone? The racing didn't go as expected. But I think we, next year we'll do much better. Did you have any breakages on the car or was it just uh, speed-wise? It was just speed-wise. We didn't have any breakages. So you're looking at other teams to try to find inspiration, I assume. Yeah, we've gone through their pits. We've had a look at their cars. And now we'll, next year we'll come back stronger than ever. And isn't it good that you mentioned that you've gone through people's pits to find info about the car? Please tell me about your pit display. Um, so firstly, all of the panels in our pit display are completely made of recycled cardboard. So all of this, we've partnered with a company called Corigami. All of this will be sent back to them and then recycled. 
Um, as you can see here, this is our car right now, the INF23 that we've placed in the center. That's our centerpiece. Um, this is our sustainability book. We aim to spread sustainability amongst the younger rookie F1 teams and these two books actually, we have an aerodynamics book as well. These perfectly explain such important topics in the F1 and schools competition to them. Um, this is just uh, our team members and their job functions and obviously our amazing merchandise right here. Uh, we love giving back to our sponsors as much as possible. That's why we've mentioned even our sponsors' logos on our poster, on our merchandise. Yeah, and that's So did you know that Tom Deacon sat um, all dinner talking to Gary Anderson about Formula One and trying to understand Formula One? Maybe Tom could use one of those aerodynamic simplified books. Whose idea was that? Um, so our design engineers, uh, being a rookie team ourselves, we also experienced a few trouble, a few, a bit of trouble regarding these two topics, even aerodynamics. So obviously, it's while it's similar to Formula One, there are still some major differences. So a design engineers thought of why not promoting it amongst the younger F1 in schools teams that are there in the country. So that's why they've devised this uh, this book for the younger audience that have just started participating in the competition. I think it's great that you're trying to encourage those young people to get involved in F1 in schools. Thank you so much for talking to me, Team Infinity. I hope you have a great competition. Thank you. Thank you. And now I have Catalyst Racing, who have got a dinner reservation soon, I, I believe. That is true. That is true. It's coming up in a, just a little while. So um, how has today been? Have you had a good day? Ah, yeah, it's definitely going well now. Um, we're, we're not uh, in the top 10 just yet, so it's not quite in the position we'd like to be. But, you know, we're doing well and we're, we're happy. So you're ready for knockout racing, hoping to win that, I assume? Absolutely. Well, unfortunately now we, we did uh, have an issue with our regulation, so we won't be able to complete all of the knockout racing. But, you know, we're hoping to at least do the first round and get our four points. Well, let's put that regulation breakage aside. We're here to talk about your pit display. If we can get the team to separate a little bit so we can see, and I will talk to, I will talk to David about it. <laughs> How, um, do you want to talk to me about your pit display? So basically, yeah, we've got our Catalyst Foundation on the left, car in the middle, and social media on the right. And we've laid it out so that our cars are centralised, and we've got our Catalyst game and website and a live stream of the pit display as well on the right. So have a lot of people been coming to play the Catalyst game? Uh, yeah, a good few, yeah. And do we know who is number one currently? Uh, there's no leaderboard, I'm actually afraid. It's an infinite game. It just keeps going. It's so addictive. Like, just keep it means, playing and going it means it's, it's great for everybody because everyone can enjoy it forever. There's no need to be competitive with it. Um, but, yeah, it, we're really proud of the game. Maybe in the future we'll add it. So what, I what are these? On, what is on this side of the, um, of the pit display? Smile, you're on camera. Is this your vlog? Yeah, you can see. Look, we are live streaming now. There's a bit of delay. But you'll see now we'll move that in a minute. Um, so this is just kind of... Us, I suppose, the team, everything we've done, uh, our online impressions and things we've achieved. So this is a part of our Catalyst Foundation. So this is the, um, we, this was a fundraiser actually we held for the um, last man's standing competition, we call it. David would be able to tell you more on that. I want to actually talk about off the track. So you, you've got off the track on your pit display there. Um, have you had, have you heard the F1 in School's official podcast? Um, I believe I've heard of it now, yeah, I think they're a bit of a competitor with Off The Track, are they now? Um, but Donal was actually working with Off The Track for a bit, so if you want to talk to him about the Off The Track. You know, uh, we've, seen, we've seen the F1 in School's official um, podcast, but I have to stick with our route with Off The Track. We are part of the team there and we've helped out. Um, I think it's really great for the competition to have these two brilliant podcasts and a bit of competition is never too bad. Well, Tom Deacon will be upset because he is the host of the Main Street, the official F1 in Schools podcast. And Off the Track is another podcast that is also about F1 in Schools. But I have just got to say the Main Street is the better one. Thank you very much, Catalyst Racing, for showing me around your pit display. I hope you enjoyed dinner. And I'm sorry. Sorry they kept you waiting. Thank you very much. I am here with the team from Malaysia. How are you? Good, good, really good. How has today gone racing? Um, it was pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> sure. You, you were a lot more energetic this morning with the, with the music pumping, ready to ready to go and win for today. Oh, well, I guess I drained out. <laughs> drained out. We are getting towards the end of the day for this team. Second day of competition. What has been your highlight so far? I think the biggest highlight would be um, it's amazing how people know our team as a team that 
uh, uses durian for our car. Yeah, because um, uh, we've been approached by some people and they asked us about how we use durian skin fiber on our car. Oh, okay, so I didn't know this. You didn't tell me this. So someone tell me, please. Here we go. So we had a collab with our International Islamic University Malaysia. Shout out to Dr. Ayman. So with the research, we got to make durian skin into this. And it's part of our car component, actually. It's our wheel cap. Yeah. That's absolutely incredible. I can't believe you didn't tell me and Tom that. If we could just separate the team and then we can have a look at the amazing pit display that we have got here. So we do this pit lane walk so we can you can show off what everyone else at the competition sees. So what is your favourite part about this pit display? What do you think, what are you most proud of? What am I most proud of? I think the overall I would say is our game attraction at our pit display, which our design engineer has actually coded using Arduino. Yeah. Yeah, so basically this game consists of four game pads and this TV right here. And it's actually a memory game, so you have to uh, imitate the pattern that the game uh, produced. And if you fail to do so, then you lose. No wonder you're all tired. You're memorizing the colors on the floor all day. I can imagine you've had a lot of teams come in to try to play that game. There's a lot of teams that tried out this game. And surprisingly, there were some teams who managed to beat our own high score around 25, 26, 26 rounds. Okay, I've got 26 rounds. I will be here 28 rounds after I finish these pit interviews. Thank you so much for talking to me. Um, best of luck with the rest of the competition. Thank you. And I am here. Hello. I am here with Pan Terrace Racing. How are you? Fine, you? I'm great, thank you. Are you just, you're just fine? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, so you finished racing for the day? Yeah. And how did it go? Well, it can be better. Always we can improve, but we are happy with our results. As you should be, I think you've done excellent. So we're here to talk about your pit display, Team 38 displayed right at the top there. Who wants to talk me through it? Um, yeah, so over here we have all our interviews that we've had with media, we have our portfolios, here we have some of our cars from previous years, and we have this car that's uh, it's called Huichol, which is typical art from Mexico, yeah, very, very colorful. Uh, here we have all our appearances in newspapers and magazines. And well, here we have all our sponsors who have been uh, key partners in our project. Most importantly, RD Impulsora de Negocios, Universidad Panamericana, uh, Heraldo Media Group, Formula Uno uh, Mexican Grand Prix, and Ferrari Mexico. Well, I can see over here on this side, we have got a sign here wall. So is meeting people and making friends and networking one of the most important things that you've had in this competition? Yes, it's a great experience meeting everyone every, from all parts of the world. So we want everyone to sign it and keep, uh, get it back so we can keep it. Oh. So you can remember everybody. Oh, I will sign. Thank you very much. I'll go right here. Thank you very much for letting me sign. Um, what has been your highlight of the competition so far? So you were very involved in the pit display. Did you like building it? Uh, yeah, we had a lot of um, difficulties uh, because we had very little time, but we had a lot of fun. And overall, I think we were proud of our final product. I think you should be proud. It looked absolutely amazing. Thank you, Pantera's Racing, for speaking to me. I hope you have a great award ceremony. See ya, thank you. And I am talking to next Team K Racing. How are you? Very good, very excited. How has today gone racing wise? Very good. Very good, thank you so much. Where are you about in the table? 43. Racing has just finished, so we can confirm that is your that is your point in time. So your pit display looks absolutely amazing. Who wants to talk to me about that? This is, uh, what can I say it about it? Hmm. It's like an innovation that we got, I say like that way. We never seen it before, but this year, when we come here, we stay very bit way with it, like exploration, Kimtos, and I think another team. So you, um, you've had a look around a lot of the other pit displays, have you made a lot of friends with other teams? Yes. And do you think that's um, your favorite part of the competition so far? Do you have a, a different favorite part? Actually, the races are my favorite part, of course. Do you, do you press the button? No, 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 it's Philip. But uh, learning with the other teams is actually really good too, as well. So, Philip, pressing the button. How's it? How's it been going? Uh, we got a bit of a problem. He's 
the, the one I sent too much of it, but I can translate it. Yeah, you translate then. How has it gone racing? Como é que foi as corridas? Foram? It was a good race. Was it? Was he nervous? Yes. You know that. You don't need no translation needed. I know, I know. He was nervous, but that's okay. I think you've done a great job. Um, and you've got all the teams, team names here, and the roles. Are these um, what everyone worked on in the team? Yes. This is the STEM skills we developed the, along the project. Very good. Well, thank you so much for showing me around your pit display. Sorry for going to Felipe, who does not speak English, but that is okay. Thank you very much. And that is it. We have met so many teams and we've seen so much amazing work. And oh, look at that. We have just met all the future faces of F1. Happy to see them in the paddock in a few years' time. Thank you for joining me on this pit lane walk.